Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another video. Uh, before I begin uh, this particular video, I just want to thank everyone so much for all of the likes, all of the comments, and all of the subscribes. Um, and I just want to give a little shout out to everyone who has, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, um, so you guys get alerted whenever I drop a new video here. And if there's anything you guys yeah, in particular want me to review or take a look at or purchase and kind of do a full thorough review or just kind of get it and kind of, you know, do a, a quick video, let me know. I'll be happy to do that too as well. So uh, this video is going to talk about the 2020 Metanium um, by Shimano. This is the by far the best reel of 2020 and the this reel is basically uh, my workhorse, my go-to all the time. Um, I have two here on, a, uh, on the screen here for you and the biggest difference here is that we have a US model and we have a JDM model okay so I'm gonna talk in about I'm gonna talk about both I'm gonna talk about the price points I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each and that way you can really determine which one you should buy or which one that you are thinking about buying uh, as they both look very similar uh, on the screen okay so do want to talk about the box first because that's going to be the biggest giveaway in terms of which was which um, on the back of the US version which is this one there is a uh, extra sticker here that is um, probably the barcodes for the US market so it looks a little bit different so this is the box for that for the US and this is the box for the JDM one so that is kind of the biggest giveaway in terms of the box because everything besides that um, they're basically the same on the box so that is the biggest giveaway there so if you're looking to get one on eBay or you know on Facebook marketplace and you're like oh man which one is this one um, that's the first giveaway. The other one is going to be the manual. Uh, for the US version, the manual is gonna look like this, like any other Shimano product. It has the, you know, English, obviously, and all the other, um, you know, the manual. Whereas the JDM one will look like this. And it doesn't have a single word of English on it. So this is what a, the JDM one looks like. And this is the one with the US version looks like. So that is kind of how you dis distinguish the two because when you look at the reels on the paper or on the screen, sorry, they look similar and they are really similar. Um, when you look at the reel now, um, if you don't have a box, obviously, you're going to look at the knobs, okay? The JDM one has smaller knobs and the US version has rather larger knobs, uh, which it is also hard to, to obviously tell on the screen too. So I'm going to flip these sideways. And that way you can tell the biggest difference is that the knobs on the G on the US one goes up and down on this little um, plastic piece here. And the JDM one kind of goes diagonally, okay? So when you look at it this way, you can definitely tell, okay, this is the JDM one and this is the US one. So that's kind of how you distinguish the two because it's also kind of hard to tell, you know, which spool size is the 150 and which one is the 100. So, um, now moving on to the spool size now that I just talked about it, the biggest difference besides the knobs and the box and the manual is that the US one features a 150 size spool and the JDM features a 100 size spool. So 150 uh, obviously holds a lot more line uh, than the 100 size. Now talking about the performance because everything is the same, there's no difference in terms of quality, there's no difference in terms of finish or anything like that, it's just the same exact body. Um, it features the same SVS Infinity, has the four internal brake settings, you can turn on and off, everything's the same besides the knob and the spool. So determining which one's really better for you um, is kind of uh, really up to you. So the way that I saw it is that um, you know, the 100 size spool doesn't really help. Uh, it, it's not a big difference in the 150. It's kind of the same. Um, I wasn't able to really determine which one was casting further. It was pretty much the same in terms of cast, you know, the casting distance. Now there is one thing that I do want to talk about that the U S version outperformed the JDM version in, and that was the cast ability. Okay. I have both of these. I'm going to open this up too as well and show you. I have both of these, the internal brake settings. I have both on two on, two off. So this is the US one, you got the two on, two off. And then I have this on four on the outside. You can't see it, but I have this on four. And then this one I have two on, two off on the inside. And then I have six on the outside. Okay, and let me tell you a little bit about why I have it on six first, but if I can get this open. So two on, two off there. 
and then on the outside it's on six. So let me tell you the reason why I have it on six though. And this might be a big fact, a big selling or big determining point for you if you want to get the US or the JDM one is the US one, when I had it on four, I'm able to cast it without having any fluff, okay? Two on, two off, and four on external, I had zero fluff whatsoever. And if I'm looking to now skip it, um, now I can turn it to six and I can have absolutely no fluff when I'm skipping. When I moved to the JDM one, I tried, I actually, you know, thought it was gonna have the same kind of um, performance in terms of the brake settings, but it did not. Um, I did two on, two off, and I started at four and I had a lot of fluff. Okay. I didn't have a whole, I didn't backlash, but I had a lot of fluff and I could tell that if I were to really whip this with a, you know, any kind of lure, I knew that it would kind of fluff unless I was doing anything heavier than half an ounce. So I was sewing the same thing just to kind of FYI, there's no difference. I was throwing the same line, 16 pound and I threw the same jig. Um, but I noticed the JDM one fluffing more for some reason on the four setting. So I backed it off a little bit, changed it up tweaked it to six and I was able to kind of get the same performance I would out of this one and while this one's on a four. So the biggest difference, like I said, is the fluff amount that I got on this on, on the four setting and versus no fluff on this on a four setting. So I had to move this up to six. Now, um, when I had, when I tried skipping, then I would, what I have to do is unfortunately, I have to open up the side plate flip on another one, another switch, then I back this down to like four. So that way I was able to really skip and then I could tone this down to like two. But then at the same time, I felt like once I did that, I wasn't able to get the same cast distance out of the maintenance because then you had to turn on another internal break. So that was the only inconvenience of the JDM one, but I am fine with it. Um, I don't really skip with this one anyways because I'm skipping with this. So, I mean, if that's a big deal for you or, or deal breaker, um, I would definitely get the US version if you don't mind the knob size or the, or the obviously the spool size. So in terms of the castability goes, the US version is a lot better in my opinion because I could easily just turn on two extra uh, SVS or I could dial it up two more, whatever you want to call it. And I could have um, a skipping reel versus, you know, this one I got to open up the side plate and change it up a little bit and whatever nonsense. So that's just kind of the difference and I kind of figured in terms of castability. But like I said, everything else is the same. Everything, you know, performance wise uh, is the only difference in terms of the castability, but everything else is the same, same finish, same exact, you know, material. I mean, everything is to the T besides the knobs and the spool size. Now I do want to say that when I purchased the US version and when I got it out of the box, it was a lot smoother and it was like buttery smooth versus the JDM one had a little bit of a Gary noise to it, um, which wasn't bad because once I put the line on it, it kind of went away. Uh, I didn't really notice it afterwards, but that's just kind of my two cents and I just wanted to throw that out there. So which one is good for you? Well, let me talk about price point real quick because you, it's, it's hard for you to find a US version for 300 bucks, okay? Brand new, 420, and that's kind of where you're gonna at unless you get like a good deal somewhere, 10% coupon or you buy a used one. You have to get this one at close to retail, if not retail. The JDM one, you're obviously able to get off of eBay for about 300 bucks, okay? Um, it's gotta come from Japan, so it's gonna take a couple days. So if you're looking to get it right away, good luck. It's gonna take about a week or so, and then that's how you're going to get the reel. There are guys selling it on the marketplace where actually, and that's kind of where I bought mine, is I bought mine off of the uh, marketplace. So I got mine within two days. Um, but I paid like an additional 50 bucks more. So I paid 350 for this, where I paid full retail for this when this first came out. Um, but if you want, if, if you can wait, you definitely can, you can get that off eBay for 300 bucks. So there's a big difference in the price. You're talking full retail versus 300. So you do the math and you kind of figure out which one's better for you. So, um, but yeah, so that's the price point. So for me, um, I love both. They still are great. There's nothing wrong with this one besides the fact that I have to, um, keep that on six, um, Everything else is identical. Like I said, I do prefer the bigger knobs because I do have bigger hands. That's just kind of my preference, but I'm gonna leave that out of discussion because everyone has different hand sizes, so different knob sizes will be completely by preference. Um, if you guys have any questions about the reels itself, let me know. I'd be happy to, uh, you know, dive in a little bit more. I can show you guys, you know, how I like to run it or, you know, whatever it is. So if you have any questions about these two, let me know. Um, but other than that, uh, this is kind of, you know, concludes the video. But uh, before I conclude it again, I just want to thank everyone so much for all of the uh, likes, all the comments and all the subscribes that everyone has been given. 
uh, giving me. So uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so so that you guys are alerted. You guys don't want to mess up on the next couple of videos. I'm going to have some pretty cool videos coming up pretty soon. And I'm going to also be doing some giveaways too as well. Uh, some YouTube video giveaways, not just Facebook, but some YouTube video giveaways. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys have the ability to win some uh, free stuff, okay? Um, but other than that, I just want to thank you guys so much. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.